Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is a, a project preview video. Um, I'm working on a project to manage my Tasmoto devices um, through a Node-RED uh, control panel. And the idea behind the video is to gauge the level of interest in the project and if it's worth continuing with the project. So the the flows will be available for download. Uh, it will actually be a paid download um, because I find that the best way of actually gauging any real interest. And I'll set up a web page as well on the site for for feedback. And hopefully if there's enough interest, then I can develop it, it further. OK, so <clears throat> we got a series of flows here. And OK, this is grayed out and not, not currently used at the moment. Uh, Next one is a Tasmoto detector. Now this will detect the, the devices, the Tasmoto devices on your network. And it will detect them regardless of whether you're using topic prefix or prefix topic, or whether you're using a, a topic base, uh, which I'm using and I recommend you do use. My topic base is Tasmotus. OK, so it detects the devices and it stores them in the global group. And the global group is called devices. And if we look at the devices, you can see down here, if I just drag it across to the thing, we can see our devices and all the properties of those devices. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of the flow. Um, if, there's a, if there's enough interest, I will make some more videos um, describing how it works in, in more detail. Uh, then we have a timers one. Um, and this is basically so we can set the, the timers on our, on our devices. And then we have a control, and this allows us to actually turn the switch on and off. Now, that kind of thing you can do with a Home Assistant and other and a very simple node red flows. But this lets, you, this lets you control other things, and you'll see that when we look at the, the dashboard. And then we have another one for groups. We can group the devices and remove devices for, from groups. And then we have a remove devices. Now, this is basically um, a get out of jail flow. <coughs> you might find, especially when you're testing, you get devices turn up that really you don't want. And so you can actually get rid of them. And then we have a find Tasmoda devices. I've done a a video on this before <clears throat> and this allows you to find all the Tasmota devices on on the network okay so let's look at the user interface and you can see here this is the the main interface and you can see it's detecting my devices I've, I've only got um, six devices here um, gives you the state of the switch and it gives you when the message was received up time whether it's active on uh, what's going on there um, the group topic IP address and other information obviously you can expand this depending on, on your needs and below is again a bit of a debug table there so you can see the last messages that are coming in then the timers one this is one I actually find very useful um, you can set the timers on your devices it's very difficult to set them if you're doing it manually from the using mosquito pub or other other utilities um, but this lets you see the the timers and lets you set the timers so these are the current timers that are available or are active and if we go to timer details and we can select our initialize it and select our group select our device and it shows you all the timers on that device and whether they're active or not these are enabled and uh, these are actually used for to control my my outdoor lights even though it says bedroom, uh, it's for the outdoor lights. Um, okay, um, here we can disable, enable, and we can select, and we can 
select the timer and we can set the days enter the time repeat enable and then we send the message and it basically changed the timer so let me if I just let me do timer three actually because I'm not using it uh, enter the days we go for the uh, let me just refresh that again because I don't time of three enter the day enter the time and we'll go for 20 hundred hours <clears throat> we're going to repeat it and we're going to enable it and we're going to turn it on so if I just send that tells me what it's sent and you can see now timer three is enabled and I'm going to now disable it and it gets disabled very useful I use this it's uh, a very useful uh, flow okay and then we've got our group assignment where we can change the groups these are the current groups I have and I can I can remove groups I can add groups and then once I've got them I can change this is a current membership I can add census to groups and then the find Tasmota devices and this will find all the Tasmota devices on our network just click the find button and there they are there it also finds Shelley devices as well <clears throat> I almost forgot this one, the control flow. Um, we initialize sensors. Now this lets us turn our sensors on and off. So we can toggle it, we can set it on and off. We have to select our sensor. So we select our group and then we select the sensor from the group. And it should display the status here. And then if we want to turn it on, we just click it on there and turn it off there. We can also not just change the power, uh, we can change the other things here. Again, you can modify this list. Very useful here, change the MQTT host without actually going, uh, using a web browser to connect to it, change the time zone. Um, very important to be aware of the time zone when you're using the timers. Um, not only can we change the um, individual switches, we can change the group uh, on a group basis. So Tasmota has actually got two devices in here, switch uh, 3 and switch 5. If we set it to non, um, we have to toggle this one up. Uh, so it's targeting Tasmotos. And then if I set the power to on, it will turn the all the members in that group on and you might hear them click in the background and I can just turn them off by changing that and it will set, turn them off uh, as I said I'll, I'll put a, a page on the website so you can leave comments and leave feedback and as, as I say I just really want to gauge the interest in it see whether it's actually worthwhile continuing at the moment it does more or less what I, I need it to do um, but if, you, if you've got suggestions I, I, I'd like to hear them and until next time uh, goodbye